All right, we're back. We're gonna do another um, session with Bella. Um, and I also think it's important for you to realize we were off last week. I was, we were up north and had a wonderful time, but we really didn't do a lot with her. Um, I, did do, I, didn't, I didn't do any formal hold with her. Um, she did pick a lot of stuff up as she tends to do. I tried instead to use those opportunities when she was grabbing stuff, um, whether it be around the campfire or in the cabin or wherever she was, she has this tendency, she always picks stuff up. And so I did turn it into like a hold lesson. Um, I wasn't in a hurry to snatch it away just like I normally am not. Um, I took it from her, I encouraged her to hold it. So if she had my sandal or shoe, I encouraged her to hold it. I at times even took a step away and had her take that step towards me before I took it from her. No different than what we've done in the past, but um, that basically was her hold conditioning while we were gone. So it was very informal. Um, I'm gonna move her around a little bit again today, just like she did just there. Come here. So I, I, again, I want to keep her free and kind of loose. I don't want her stiffening up as soon as, I, I think we, we do want them stiffening up and focusing to start out, but you don't get, you can't go so far to one side or one side or the other. We got to try to be constantly getting somewhere in the middle. So we can't let her be bebopping around right from the start. We need her to focus. We need her to concentrate like she is right now with something in her mouth, but then eventually and relatively quickly, I do think you got to move them. And if they get real loose when you move them, then you start to tighten back up. But you don't go, you just can't get into this, um, you can't get into this mindset of extremes all the time. Um, they don't do well that way. And, and most people don't do well that way. So I think we have to make an effort to kind of to kind of find the middle it, it's balancing stuff it's always about talking we're always talking about how, how do we balance things so i'm going to start her out today i will put her on this collar again it's just something that we we took a, a you know a nice little break from it i think we had five or six good days of it to start out with now we took a five or six day break i don't necessarily recommend that and i don't always want to do that but i also think it's a real good example of um that's real life. And I think it's very um, realistic for us, for myself included, to experience that at times. I do think it's really nice to be super consistent. Unfortunately, I don't have a schedule that allows that. And not very many people do. So, but I don't think you can't achieve stuff just because you don't. So she's a little stiff right now. You can see that um, just in her body language or posture. Um, she's in wonderful position right here. There's no pressure on her neck whatsoever. She's a very smart dog and she really has never had an issue with not understanding um, that when, if she's feeling some pressure on her neck, it's real easy to turn it off um, by simply adjusting location wherever you are. So a little bit of noise down by the road. She's curious about that. So she's not so locked in that she's she's not showing that she's timid or scared by any means good girl i wouldn't mind a little bit of a tail wag out of her good she's real attentive she's got nice eyes right now her ears are good she looks pretty good good i will start out, i'm going to start out with the dowel i'm actually i picked, grabbed a bumper today um i'm going to use this dummy i think as long as things go well, it's just a little puppy dummy. So we'll start out here. I want to get this real good. Hold, hold, hold. And when I say real good, I mean, look at her nice little adjustment. Hold, hold, good, hold, good, hold. She really wants to peek over at Ben, hold. There's a little tail wake, hold. She kind of adjusted her butt and wagged her tail a little bit, hold. 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 Good. Good. Hold. Good. Good, she's leaning out a little. See how tight that got? Hold, good, good, hold, good, dead, 
very nice. Started out a little rough actually. Yeah, kind of unsettled. And let her feel that pressure. And let her turn it off. Um, started out a little rough, started, you know, not necessarily surprising. We haven't done this for a while. Um, a lot of movement. She really wanted to watch Ben. But that end was really nice. Hold. Hold. Good. Hold. Ah, 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 ah. Hold. Hold. Don't want her gracing. Good. Hold. Good. There's a little tail wig. Good. 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 She's got a little muscle going on above her forehead there. Hold. A little flinching of it. Hold. Good. Good. Good girl. Hold. Ah. Hold. Nope. She really wants to get close. Good. Good. Dead. Very good. She's really wanting to get close to me. And I don't think it's the worst thing. I don't want her using this to just pull on, which she kind of did there a little bit. Hold. Let's see what this does. Hold. Hold. Good. See that little bit of muscle movement right up here above her eyes? Hold. She's really adjusting with her little forehead muscles. Hold. Very good. She's actually better right now without being tethered off. Hold. Good. Nice little adjustment to her chin there. Good. I don't have to touch it. She good hold I don't want her going left and right hold she's just discovered a little bit of freedom hold hold good hold good hold good nope good hold Good. There's the eye contact I want right there. Good. Good. Hold. Good. Dead. Very good. Very good. Come here. Come here. Come on. See, this is this is her thing. Would well, really like to have something in my mouth. So we're just going to take that and tuck it in. And I am going to leave it there though, so that there's weight. She just can't get at it. Come here. Come here. Sit, sit, good. Hold, hold, chin up, hold, hold, good, good, very good, good, hold, hold, good, right here. Chin up. Good. Good. Ah, ah, ah. Hold. Hold. Good. Good girl. Dead. Good girl. Come here. Come here. Sit. Sit. Hold. There, tail wagon. Good. Hold. Hold. Borderline getting a little excited right now. Hold. Good. Good. Hold. Good. 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 Hold. Is a real pleased? Hold. Nah, 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 nah. Almost too relaxed. Good. 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 Dead. Good. Good. You can really see how she's 
started to feel a little bit of freedom, kind of squirmy. Sit. A little squirmy, but happier. Look at her tail. Sit. Now, I don't mind her being happy. I want her to be happy. What I don't want is the happiness to become too much for her to handle. And that's where I think, again, it's this idea of getting in the middle. You can't be so extremely firm with her that she's a statue and she's locked up. You can't be so loose with her and, and have fun with it, yada, 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 and all of a sudden, next thing you know, she's boiling over. And now we don't have any control. We're trying to get in the middle. So we were real nice and firm over here, but I couldn't get her tail to wag. So mentally, I don't know how happy she really was. And I think she needs to be. She can't be so happy that she's not learning either, that she's not able to focus. So it's somewhere in the middle that we got to get. Hold. Hold. Good. Good. Hold. Very nice. This is the best one yet. Good. Very good. Hold. Hold. No, don't look away. Hold. Good. Hold. Good. Hold. That was a test. Dead. Big difference between dead and hold. Good. That was a really nice one. So, she's loose. She's not tied up. She knows that. She just had the freedom and kind of got excited about it. So we went from one, one extreme over here to another extreme over here and then somewhere in the middle. And I think we got closer to the middle because I firmed up a little bit with her. This dog takes, takes me firming up a lot better than some of the dogs I have. She's, she takes, she, she'll take a little bit of verbal. I can get on her pretty heavy and she doesn't, and actually I think sometimes she likes it. She doesn't, she doesn't shut down real easily. Hold, 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 good, good, ah, ah, ah. hold, good, good, hold, hold, good, good. Hold, very nice. Ah, ah, there's a little distraction. Birds outside here, right here. Hold, hold, hold. Very good. Good girl. Come in. I'm gonna trick her again. Hold, hold. Hold, hold, there's me firming up. Hold. Ah, hold. Hold. This is turning into a little bit longer too. Hold, good. Very good. Dead. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. Let's do this. Um, that was real nice, especially coming back off of not doing this for a while. I am gonna put her back up on the tether, reposition her, let her understand where she can get comfortable. There, nice, that's a nice, real comfortable sit for her. It's still loose enough back there that it's not putting pressure on, but that's how she would sit if she wasn't, if, she, if I just told her to sit down, that's how she'd sit. Good. So now we're gonna go with the dummy. Now she knows these dummies. She loves these dummies. It's a little bit, first time we're kind of going away from that, un, that unfamiliar dowel. I don't usually use a stick with my dogs. Hold, in fact, I discourage it, especially with her, because otherwise she'll carry him constant. Hold, a little chompy right there. Hold. When I get a little bit on her, watch what her tail does. Hold. Hold. Good. Very good. Hold. Ah, hold. Good girl. That's a good dog. Ah, 
Hold. Hold. Good girl. Very good. Good girl. Hold. Nice little scratch. She's got a nice hold of that dummy. Her eyes are real relaxed. She looks like she wants to take a nap. Good. Hold. Better grip on that than the, the, the dowel. Ah, ah, ah. Hold. Good dog. Did. Very nice. Good girl. Come here. Come here. No, 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 no. We're going to start to turn her off of that. And again, she's weird. Her tail gets going when I get on her a little bit. Come here. Good. Sit. Sit. Good. Real attentive. Good. Hold. 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 Ah, ah, ah. Hold. Good. Good. Hold. I don't want that chomping. Hold. Good. Good girl. Hold. Very good. There's a tail wag with a good too. Very good. Hold. Chin up. Good. Hold. Hold. Good. A little swivelly on her head there. Hold. Good. Good. Dead. Nice. Good. Come on. Come here. Sit. Sit. Move spots. Sit. Sit down. Good. I'm just going to let her be there for a second. You see there's uncertainty. Oh, oh, wait a minute. I'm in a different spot. Good. Subtle change, but enough to give her a little bit of a question. Hold. Hold. Good. Tail's wagging. She's always wagging the tail when the camera's on the other side of her. Hold. Her tail is thumping. Good. Hey, ah, hold. Good. Here. Here. Sit. Sit. Hold. Very nice. Good. Hold. Good girl. Did. Very nice. Good girl. I think that's about it. I think that's more than enough today. Um, we did, we come, we're coming back from not doing this for a week. Um, a solid week too. Not quite, a, not quite a week, I guess, but just shy of. So that was really good. She jumped back into her old routine really well. Good enough, we added a dummy. Good enough, we moved her. That time I moved her with a dummy in her mouth. And so what I'm trying to do is get this routine and this habit to become finish, looking up, holding my head still. That's where we start. And this last time we brought her in off of movement and finished her in the same position. So I kind of did the exact same thing that I had been doing when I put it in her mouth. This time it's she came to the spot and did it. Now. We're going to get her to come to the spot and have the spot be in front of us. Um, when we, I, I think what's going to help us with that is going to be, I would do it normally just on the ground and bring her to me um, after doing it up here. But we're going to start, I'm going to build those place, place boards. I know I've been talking about that for a week too, but I'm going to build those place boards. And we're going to start doing place board training with her off without a dummy and get her used to that. And then what I'm going to do is by the time we get that to that point, we'll be to the point where we're on the ground, hopefully with her, um, withhold and I'll get her to start finishing on the place board right in front of me. I want this front delivery. So, um, that's just, uh, that's my, my vision, uh, direction wise where we're going to go with it. So, um, the place boards are new to me. The hold conditioning, this is something we do with them all. We've done it with, we've done it with them all for, for years, but, um, we're going to try to incorporate that place board to specifically get it in a spot. And if it works well, which I think it's going to, um, 
I'm going to do it with Ellie too, because Ellie has a tendency to get three different spots. Sometimes she's over here, sometimes she's over here, and a lot of times she's looking away. And, and Ellie's just, that's just polishing her up, cleaning her up. Um, but we might end up just doing the exact same thing with her too. So uh, she had a night, really nice session up here. Now she comes from here and she's going to go into her kennel. Ben and I talked about it this afternoon. If it stops raining, it kind of started raining. If it stops raining, we may go outside. I might uh, work with her just outside. It would be for Bella be good. Um, it'd be a set, another session, but I want to work on a little bit more of her sits to the whistle, um, recall sit to the whistle. I'm going to be careful not to do too much of it because I usually like to reward that quick sit with a retrieve and obviously we're not retrieving right now. So we're not going to make retrieves with her. So I got to be careful of how much of that sit to the whistle I do without giving her a reward of getting a retrieve out of that. So, but I think, I just think she needs, she needs, that's another weak spot of hers. She needs to get a little crisper with that. So, and we're also, we'll talk about tomorrow, but we're going to be doing some stuff with some distractions with her. We're releasing pheasants tomorrow. So we're going to be filming that for Bella Be Good. Um, but we're, we've raised our first 150 chicks and I'll explain more why we're down to a hundred, but um, we're going to be releasing them tomorrow. And for her, it's going to be very much a controlled situation where she's going to have to resist the distraction and temptation of a hundred six week old pheasant chicks flying away from her. Um, it'd be a great opportunity for her to, to see a lot of opportunities of denials, um, which will help her understand she's going to have to be under control in very ex what she thinks is a very exciting situation. Uh, she needs work on that. So we'll talk about that later. Good. We have a question. See you. Why Howell says, is there an American resource to order the British play sport training videos? Um, I got, I think what you can do, that's Cynthia, I think, down in Mississippi. Um, the videos are, and we should post a picture of that second one, because they're Ian Openshaw. Um, it's his play sport training. And I think it's a Paul French video. It's produced by Paul French videos. I think you can just... Google search them and order them online. I don't know that there's necessarily a supplier or distributor here in the States of them. Um, I have ordered Paul French videos before. They do come from the UK, um, is where mine shipped from. Um, there's a place over there, I wanna, it's, it's very similar to Gundog Supply here in the States, um, but it's like, a, it's that, it's, a, it's like a British Gundog Supply. Um, but they have a lot of the videos. Um, I, do, I just don't think anybody sells them over here. Not that I have, not that I have seen, but I did get them. I think it's Cynthia on the other end there. Uh, I did get them um, shipped here before. So these, this video, this, the Ian Sh Openshaw, the place board videos, um, a, f a friend of mine had them um, and he borrowed it to me. Um, the ones that Jay Lowry had, the newer version, there's like a updated one. I haven't gotten it yet, but I'll tell you what, I'll look for them. And if I find the source, cause I'm going to order that one. Um, if I find it, then I'll just, I'll share where we got it from. So good. Great question. Okay. All right. That's it. And I'm damned if I do. And I'm damned.